Hello and welcome to the second video in this series looking at linked lists for beginners in C. So last video then you'll remember we created our new person data structure. We dynamically allocated some memory for a couple of person structures, first and second in this case, pointers, and then printed the addresses of where this memory was allocated to the screen, freed the memory and exited the program. What I'd like to do in this video is I'd like to actually link the first and the second together, which is the most fundamental part of our linked list. So forming a link then, how does it work? Well, the good news is, is if you've understood everything so far with the pointers, then this is actually going to be fairly straightforward. So you remember from the last video, then we had an output that looked like this. We had our pointer first, our pointer second. They were both null at the start. Then we created a new person twice. So one at address 980, one at 520. First pointed to the one at 980 and second pointed to the one at 520. What I'd like to do though, I'd like to be able to link these two together. So I'd like first to be the first item on my list and second to be the second item on my list. And to do this, I have to make a modification to my person structure. And the modification is actually quite simple. On the left-hand side, you can see the structure we have now, so at the end of the first video, which is we have our person structure with an age integer. And what we need to do is we need to add a pointer, and I've called it next in line here, because it's simple for me with my simple brain to understand what it means. And we add a pointer to a person structure inside our person structure. And it's this pointer that we're going to use to make the link between the two data structures. So this will require then a slight update, but not very much of our get new person. So we still have our new person pointer. Then we allocate our memory for our person structure. But now we set the next in line pointer to null, as in not pointing to anything. We set the age, we print our person and we return our pointer to our person structure. Now when we go, if we went and reran our code, having just made these changes here, so updated our person structure to have the point and then updated the get person, we would create a new person at the addresses as before. And we would simply have two separate structures, pointed to by first, pointed to by second, different addresses, and they would have also inside their data structure, this next in line pointer. But those pointers are pointing to null, to nothing. Putting them side by side, first and second then, what we have is something like this. Again, the pointers are pointing to null. So to link these together, what we need to be able to do is we need to tell the program that when we create the second structure, that instead of having the next in line pointer from the first data structure point to null, we should have it point to the address of the second. In other words, this next in line pointer should point to 641520, which is also where the second pointer is pointing to. And it's this pointer pointing to this, this address that makes the link between the first and the second. And in fact, this way of making the link is how we make the link to all of the items throughout our linked list. If we added a third item, then the next in line pointer of second wouldn't point to null anymore, that would be set to point to the address of where the third item has been allocated and so on. And the link you hear in the linked list is this curvy, badly drawn curled arrow here, which is showing that next in line is now pointing to wherever the memory was allocated that the pointer second is also pointing to. So how does this look then in code? Well, actually pretty simple. The only thing we need to do is once we've created or allocated our memory for the second person, which the second pointer is pointing to, we simply need to tell the program in one line, which is down here, that the next in line pointer of the first structure now points to whatever second is pointing to, which will be this address 00641520. In this example, when, when we write the code and run the program now, the addresses will more than likely be different to the example here on the screen, but the concept is the same. So there's only a little bit of code then to update. So let's go back into the program and start updating our code to try and link our two data structures together. The first thing to do then uh, at the top is in our data structure person data structure is to add in our pointer to the next person in line. The next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to adjust slightly our print person statement here. So we've got the comment, the age, the address. Now I'd also like the address of the next in line. 
so I can see what place in the memory the next in line pointer of the person is pointing to and if it's not pointing to anything then the next in line will be zero. Then inside our get new person we need to take this pointer and assign that to null when we first create our new person structure. And now we can go down into the main part of the program and start setting uh, the link up between the two data structures. So we create our person then with 125, our second person with 100, print those out to the screen and now here what we'll do is we'll make the link. So we'll say that the first next inline pointer can point to the same address that second is pointing to. In other words, make this link between the first and the second. And we can then have another round of printing where we can print first again. We'll print first next in line and we'll print second. And in fact, these should both be the same because they're both pointing to the same area in the memory. And then last but not least, we go and free up our code. So let's have a look at this uh, running then in the console and see what we get. So the first thing we get is the printing of first is null and second is null. And that's lines 44 and 45 here. And both pointers are indeed null. Then in 47 and 48 we allocate some memory and get pointers to our newly allocated memory which are person structures and then we print those to the screen so that's this code here and here you can see now we've got first is 125 100 for second first is at the memory address here 71980 and second is at 71520 and both have the next in line at zero and this is null it's not pointing to anything in the memory it's zero. So both of their next in line pointers are not pointing to anything. And here we're at line 50 and 51. Then in line 53, we now tell the next in line pointer from first, so in this row in the console here, actually to point to the same area in memory that second is pointing to, which is C71520. And then we go and print first again. And now what we indeed see is, is that first is still pointing to the same address for its pointer at 980 but its next in line pointer is pointing to 71520 or in other words the same address that second is pointing to 71520 and in fact on the second last line here we actually print out first next in line and that's exactly the same as second it's age 100 and the address of that is 71520 and also our second pointer is pointing to the area to the location in the memory that is 71520 with age 100 and both with the next in line at 00. zero. In other words what we've done is we've made this link between first and second here and that's actually although it's just two elements that is a linked list there's nothing actually more to it what you need to do is each time you add on more elements, you need to go through the same procedure. Create your element and then set the next in line of the previous element to point to that new element, which maintains the links in your linked list. And this adding of more and more elements, as many as we want, is something that we'll look at then in the next video. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope that was clear. I hope the concept is clear. Any comments, criticisms, questions, welcome as always under the video on YouTube. Otherwise, yep, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.